Welcome Capricorn to your reading. I am Scorpio Moon Intuition bringing you messages from Spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like to know more about your connection, you can book a personal reading with me at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers, if you're the one watching this, it may refer to you. So let's go ahead and get started. I welcome in my spirit guides and only angels, and the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. Alright guys. So I'm going to go ahead and give my area a bit of a spray. Okay. If you haven't seen this already, it's my Bitch Be Gone spray. <laughs> okay. So Capricorn, let's go ahead and see what is the energy of the person that is coming towards you at this time? What is the person that is coming towards Capricorn at this time? What is the energy of Capricorn and the person that they're associating with in terms of love and romance? What is coming forward towards Capricorn? We have a self-sabotage. We can sometimes cause our own pain or inflict it upon ourselves and others that we want to push away, leaving ourselves vulnerable to the rejection and abandonment, thus fueling some of our deepest insecurities of a cycle of self-sabotaging behavior. Self-sabotaging a relationship can cause many of us to ruin perfectly happy, healthy relationships. Being cut off from the feeling or feelings is just not enough to continue to function wow so right off the bat Capricorn okay you're dealing with a person who is actually self-sabotaging the connection with you at this time wow so let's go ahead and see what else spirit please reveal to me what is the reason why that the person who loves Capricorn is self-sabotaging the connection. Why are they self-sabotaging the connection at this time, please, Spirit? Wow, this person's got a lot on their mind from what I can see. love yourself first you know capricorn what i'm feeling is that your person uh needs to learn self-love okay your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive i really feel that your person is still sabotaging the connection because your person does not know how to love themselves that is the feeling that i'm getting also we have finances and career so your person is having difficulty in their 3d physical life in terms of their job okay and in order for them to really open up and move forward towards you they they really feel that they need to feel good about themselves before they can open up towards you that is the feeling i'm getting and also we have here retreat it's time to disconnect from the world so i really feel that your person wants to take a step back okay and trust this situation is calling you to have faith. So what I'm feeling, Capricorn, is that your person wants you to trust that they need uh, to take a time out for themselves. Right now, they're focused on their finances and career, and they're learning self-love. You know, overall, I feel like your person is self-sabotaging the connection. I really do have a feeling that your person does love you. 
but there's a lot of things that your person has on a physical level or on a personal level that is preventing you and your person to come together in a, a physical sense okay that is the feeling that i'm getting so let's go ahead and see what else spirit please reveal to me what additional information you can give to us about the person that is connecting to Capricorn. What additional messages want to come through for the person connecting to Capricorn? What else, Spirit? What additional information can you provide to us? for the person connecting to Capricorn. You know, Capricorn, I really feel like this person uh, really wants to make it up to you, okay? They just don't feel good about themselves. Yeah, it has to do with money, okay? So money is on the mind of your person, from what I can feel. And I really feel like it's because of this financial situation I really feel that uh, your person in the past, they really didn't love themselves first. Okay, hence the reason why um, they don't really feel good about coming towards you at this time. And it's an obstacle, okay? So it's been an obstacle. This money is a blockage in your uh, current uh, connection with your person. Okay, that is what I'm seeing. Let's see what else. what additional information wants to come through for the sign of Capricorn? What messages does your person want to reveal to you at this time, Capricorn? What love messages does your person want to reveal towards Capricorn at this time? Wow. So, I definitely see here don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others i really feel like your person wants to be true to you capricorn okay i i honestly feel that they're going to take a time out to really put in the effort to love themselves first really get their finances and career under wraps and they're taking a break i really don't feel like this person is with anyone right now i really feel like they're keeping to themselves at this time and i also feel like they're asking you to trust that your person is actually working on themselves i i also feel that this person may or may not be talking to you at this time okay because i feel like they're more secluded or more recluse uh in the connection okay but you know they are holding back and that's the feeling that i'm getting but it, it's for um for a good reason for what i can feel i i really do feel like until that their money situation is uh, improved then i feel like this masculine or feminine uh take what resonates uh feels better to come forward towards you at this time and that's what i'm seeing so let's go ahead and see what is currently going on in the connection between you and your person? What energies want to come through, Spirit, for the sign of Capricorn? What energies want to come through for the sign of Capricorn? How does your person think about you at this time? How do they feel? What is it that this person wants? And what is the outcome? So you could be dealing with a fire sign in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And I really feel like your person has made a decision, okay? I definitely feel that they're very concentrated and coming forward towards you, okay? But I feel that, you know, 
they're either making plans or they're not telling this to you that um, they're holding back. I feel like it's a part of their fear or insecurity that they may not be good enough for you because financially they're not stable. Okay, that is the feeling that I'm getting. And also, this could be because of children. For some of you, uh, your person has, has kids or some sort of obligation, hence the reason that they don't feel confident in offering you much at this time. But I do see that they want to invest into you. So it may not be in this now moment, but what I'm feeling is that in the future, okay, they definitely want to offer you something long term. You know, I really honestly feel like they really want to work on themselves before they can show up and, you know, and offer you uh, a little bit more than I can feel. So they can work on the connection. And I really feel like they're trying to get out of their head of feeling lack, feeling like they're not good enough. And honestly, I feel that they're over judging themselves. They're not seeing something too clearly is what I'm also feeling. You know, because of this lack of not being able to invest into the connection between you and your person. Your person also knows that it's going to take some time for them to uh, come up and offer you a sense of uh, security, loyalty, companionship, and everything. I feel that they're trying to balance out their emotions so they can move forward. But right now, your person is watching you from a distance. They're keeping tabs on you. you know. And I really feel like it's because they keep thinking about they don't have enough to offer you at this time, Capricorn. So if they're willing to wait, wait for the right time so they can invest. So they could come towards you uh, in the spring or summer months is what I'm also feeling. Because right now they're stuck in their past. And they feel that if they were to come towards you, they wouldn't have much to offer. But they definitely want union with you. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. So I definitely see that your person wants to be honest. That they, they really want to be by themselves. Okay, and really work on their independence. Also their career and finances. I also see that your person could be getting out of a commitment of some sort or they feel that they can't offer you a commitment at this time. I honestly feel like they want to spend this time alone so that they can improve themselves so they can make a stable offer towards you. How they're feeling is that they know that they need to work on themselves. So it's in here time and time again, Capricorn, that your person feels like it's absolutely necessary to really put in the work for themselves through the self-love and self-care before they can make you an offer. For some, okay, um, I'm saying it could be a Virgo here. It could be a Taurus, okay, or it could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It, it could also be another earth sign, okay? It could be another Capricorn for some, also Taurus and Virgo, okay? So what I'm seeing is that in terms of love, they feel that in order uh, for them to present themselves to you, they first need to work on themselves. I really feel that they're not happy with, you know, being in separation from you at this time. And they're not happy but they, they're not happy with showing up in their current state of how they are in this present moment. And that's what I'm getting. You know, what this person wants is to offer some sort of balance. Right now, they could have gotten out of a, a commitment or a karmic a situation. And they're trying to get out of their head. They don't want to stress about anything at this point. And really put more focus on themselves. In the future, I see that they're going to offer you um, something, okay, Capricorn? I also feel that uh, they're going to get out of their minds about uh, some sort of um, secret, okay? And I feel like this secret is uh, not being good enough. And I also feel um, 
if your person has left the connection with you, especially if it's been five years, this person is finally showing up. Okay, Capricorn, that is the feeling I'm getting. For some, you could be dealing with a cancer. Okay, and I really feel that um, they really want to get out of uh, this separation. So I feel that the time is, is near, okay? They possibly can't come forward towards you in this now moment, but they're definitely working on either getting a divorce, okay, or trying to make it right or balanced and fair so they can make you a stable offer. But right now, they can't really make their decision, okay, about moving forward. This person really wishes that they could make it right so they can be with you. That is their, their ultimate wish here. And their wish is to offer you a new beginning in love. For some, it could be within a month. And they finally can see. Okay. Uh, you know, you could also be dealing with a Pisces or Scorpio. But their intuition is finally kicking in. And I really feel that this is going to come to this person in, in the closing of the next uh, full moon. Okay? That is the feel I'm getting because I really feel like uh, this person um, has recently realized that they want to invest into this situationship with you, Capricorn. They're tired of being in separation with you and they're actually physically putting in the work so that they can make it right. That's what I'm seeing. That's really beautiful. So let's see what else. Spirit, what additional messages want to come through for the sign of Capricorn? What additional messages, please, Spirit, wants to come through for the sign of Capricorn? What additional messages want to come through for the sign of Capricorn? So let's see. You came closer than anyone. That is really beautiful. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I regret lying to you. This person lied to you in the past, Capricorn. And they wonder if you are happy without them. So I really feel that there has been like some time, okay, of separation between you and your person. And they really think about you a lot from I can feel. They have a lot of regrets from I can see. And they put the blame uh, on you. That is what I'm getting here. And you came closer to the truth than anyone that they've ever been with before in their life. That is the feeling I'm getting. That's what I'm seeing, okay? So, let's see what else. Capricorn, what are the messages that want to come towards you from your person? What are the messages that want to come through from your person? What are the messages that want to come through from your person? Or the messages, please, Barry. I'm always on guard because I don't know how you react when I speak my truth. Please be open what I have to say. So they could have lied to you in the past and they're guarded because they know that they lied to you. And I really feel like your person wants to come back and speak their truth. And they only ask if you could just listen to what they have to say. I really don't know how to approach you. That's why it's taking me some time. So I really feel like it's because this person had uh, lied to you or had ended the, the connection between you and your person. And they're trying to figure out what is the best way to come back and kind of like explain themselves, right? Also, I just need some space and time. Please don't take this personally. I love you. So, like I said, your person does love you, Capricorn, but they just need some uh, space and time to figure things out. And also, we have please forgive me. I really feel like your person is asking for forgiveness, and I think that's the hardest part of this conversation that your person wants to have at this time. Okay? 
So let me go ahead and see. What is the love language of uh, the person that is coming towards Capricorn? What is their love language for the person that wants to come towards Capricorn? What is your person's love language? Wow. Honestly, Capricorn, when your person comes through after they've worked on themselves, I really feel like they want to ask your hand in marriage. May I have her hand? So your person may be asking your parents if uh, they could have your hand in marriage. That's really beautiful. What else, spirit? What else is the love language of the person that is connecting with Capricorn? What is the love language? I really feel like if your person was not committed in the past, now they want to offer you something much deeper this time. Here we have shared goals. So your person realizes that you guys have common interests about what you want in a relationship. And I really feel like that's why your person wants to come back. But the obstacle here is money, okay? It could be because of children that they already have, okay? Take what resonates or leave the rest. What else, Spirit? What is the love language for the person connecting with Capricorn? What is this person's love language? Please spare it. We have here wine tasting. So your person possibly loves the taste of wine. Okay. And finally, we have lazy days. More than anything, your person want to spend some lazy days with you cozied up in a bed. Yeah. I really feel like when your person returns uh, Capricorn, you possibly want to have a, a share a bottle of wine and spend it uh, in bed with you. But I really feel like your person really wants to have a long-term relationship that is going to result in marriage. This person finally sees that um, you have a shared goal. And for some, okay, you could be in a, uh, a multicultural relationship, okay? Uh, maybe you came from uh, two different backgrounds. It's another thing I'm also feeling. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else. Capricorn, what is your person's deepest desire? What is it that they want from you at this time? What is the person connecting with Capricorn want? with you at this time we have sex appeal every inch of you exudes sexy so your person definitely finds you very sexy capricorn okay every inch exudes a sexiness it's dripping sexy oh my god <laughs> what else spirit what else is out of the person connecting to capricorn what is it that they what is their deeper desire a massage put your feet up and relax while I rub you head to toe so your person's deepest desire is to have a massage either they want to massage you or you massage them and also grabbing hold on tight is gonna be a rough ride so I really feel that your person wants to grab onto someone or something right Maybe it starts off with a massage and every inch exudes that sexy. Wow, Capricorn. So let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and close out this reading, okay? And see what is uh, the final closing guidance message that Spirit has for Capricorn at this time. Spirit, what is the final closing of guidance message for Capricorn at this time? What is the final closing guidance message for Capricorn? So Capricorn, if this reading is resonating with you, here are some guidance in regards to the person that you're connecting to in this moment. What is the guidance message, please, Spirit, for Capricorn? What is Capricorn's guidance message 
in this now moment. What is the guidance, please, sir, for Capricorn? What is the guidance message, please, spirit? What can I do to make a difference? What keeps you up at night? What makes you cringe when you think about it, such that every ounce of you screams no more? Where can you create purpose out of your pain? Today's sole action, Capricorn, is to make a difference in someone's life today, big or small, because all of it makes a difference. That is really beautiful. So, Capricorn, what can you do to make a difference in your connection with yourself and also with your person? Okay, even if this isn't, uh, you know, towards the person in question, what can you do to make a difference? You know, karma? Karma knows all, okay? You can do this towards a friend. You could do this uh, towards a neighbor. Uh, you can do this towards your children. What can you do to make a difference in uh, your life today, okay? Because that energy is going to, uh, you know, accumulate a positive karma. And with that being said, because I really feel that with your person, there's an obstacle here, okay? And it's money. And because of that money situation, your person doesn't feel very comfortable of approaching you. But Capricorn, your person is coming, okay? I definitely do feel that. In the meantime, you know, what can you do to make that difference, to make that change? You know, if you can't do this with the person in question, do it for a loved one or, or just a passerby. Okay, because no kind deed goes uh, unnoticed. Okay, so that's what I have for the sign of Capricorn. I really hope you enjoyed today's message. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can visit me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you next time.